Welcome to GOES 211 Get Spun. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we're prototyping a new lure. So I've got my fixture in my mill and I'm going to install my brass spoon blades onto the uh, fixture. And then we're going to uh, drill some holes and uh, get a good idea of how it's going to look once we uh, get the holes drilled. And uh, after we're done this process, we'll continue on with the next uh, next step of getting them painted and uh, doing some other things that we have in mind and getting the finished product so everybody can see it. Uh, I think this is going to turn out pretty good. Uh, but like I said, it's a prototype, and uh, you guys are seeing it for the first time, just as I am. So that's. Uh, Get this thing all set up here, and then we'll get started. Okay, so I've already determined my dimensions, where I want my holes to be. So I'm going to start up the mill and start drilling some holes. Even the space of these holes down the spoon blade. So that when the finished product is there, everything looks uniform. Thing about having a fixture is, is you can put multiple multiple blades on your fixture and you uh, just work the process backwards after you clean on just reverse your measurements and uh, continue drilling out. That's as many as we're going to do for now. Uh, stay tuned while we go do the rest of the process. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to uh, start the deburring process after we drill those holes. Uh, there's pretty big sharp edges on the inside of the hole. So I have a deburring tool for my drill. I'll just touch those up. Up my sharp edges. We've made it home. We've uh, prepped our spoon blades for powder paint, and Kathy's going to show you how she does the powder painting of the spoon blade now. So we use a heat gun to heat it up quite noisy so you don't want to overheat uh, your material when you do this or it'll burn your powder paint when you uh, put it on so Kathy's the professional at this so I'm just going to let you watch what she does
got the blade coated. Um, I assume she's happy with the coating she got on there, so she heats it up again to melt the rest of the powder on there. And uh, once she's got that melted, uh, we'll take it upstairs and put it in the oven and bake it for 15 minutes to get it to cure. And once that's done, we'll bring it back down here and do an assembly video for you. Okay, we've got our blade painted with uh, Super Glow White powder paint now. So I'm going to uh, continue on with the process of how I've got an idea to make this lure work. I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm going to take my thick UV resin. I want to just put a glob in each one of these holes. quick zap each time to set the resin because I don't want it to run all the way through. The reason I don't want it to run all the way through is because I'm going to use some color resin on the other side to make it stand out from that white powder thing. Just carry this for a little bit. Set it up. Inside, I'm going to use Raid Zap Fluorescent Red. Just top those holes up. It's going to be a casting spoon, so I'm going to put the hook on the normal end. And we have been using these blades for our alien jigging spoon and putting it on the opposite side. This is going to be more conventional. I'm going to use a number four red treble hook. Finish it off. And that's what it looks like when it's done. I get some air bubbles in the uh, in the holes there a little bit, so uh, we'll perfect that, but uh, this is our first off on our prototype, so it uh, didn't turn out too bad, I don't think. Um, I'm just going to hit the lights here and get a shot of that with uh, it glowing so you guys can see what that looks like. to me.